Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Zimuna Zamani in the virtual and here we talk about all things virtual and we do things virtual. What I'm going to be sharing with you guys today in this tutorial with Canva is something that can be used in virtual spaces like Second Life or in your real life. I use Canva in my real life business. When it comes to Second Life, I've been telling you guys for years that Canva is such an amazing tool for creating ads and also flyers. And I had a wonderful question that I thought I would make a video on to share with other people. So the question was, um, how do I remove a background? And then once I remove the background, I want to add in a background that is perfect for a headshot. So this person is kind has been in Second Life for quite a, some time and they're venturing into uh, a different type of business for them and they need to market themselves. So they wanted to do a headshot and then with that headshot will come along uh, some details about the virtual life that they've created. I think they've been on the grid probably as long as I have, which is I think this is my 14th or 15th year so they're around that mark so if you've been there that long or even a little less you've created a virtual life you've done some things and for those companies that are now in second life and those companies that are coming in those schools you know they're going to want you to tell them about yourselves what have you done in order to gain their business or be a part of whatever they're trying to create so this person is doing a great job of getting um ready for that Let's get into my canvas so I can show you guys how to do just that. Okay, so we're starting off with a blank slate here. Um, I've already uploaded the image, so we're gonna go to my uploads here. And we're gonna use Evan here. So I'm gonna drag him over because I don't want him to become the background. And then I'm just gonna use my uh, little widgets here to uh, get him centered. Okay, and look how easy that is. Okay, so there's Evan. So he loves this photo. He likes how his skin is glistening, shows the highlights in his hair, smiles perfect, but he doesn't like the background. So what we're going to do is click on the image, then we'll go to edit photo, and then here comes our magic studio. So then we'll click on background remover, just one click, and it removes the background. So let me click out here so you can see it. So see, the background is gone. You don't see any type of hint of the background anywhere. It does a perfect job. And this is something you can do yourself on something like GIMP or in Photoshop, but I find that this is so quick. And for those of us that are intimidated by some of the tools, other tools, this makes it easy. So now we're gonna add the background and Canva has a great background section. We'll go here and click background. Now there are different ones here for like landscape patterns, gradients, it goes on and on, but we want to keep this simple. So I'm going to go here to where the color is and you can either click here to create your own colors and gradients, or you can use what's already there. Uh, these are some palettes that I uh, had created. I think I, did I upload them? Yeah, I think I did. I can't remember. I'm sorry. But I know what color I want. I want it to be a gray because he doesn't want it to be too busy. And he wants a color that doesn't take away from the main focus of the image, which is him. So we're going to go with this gray right here. And that's perfect. So there it is. And Evan has a perfect uh, headshot that he can um, manipulate how he wants to. And then on the side of that, put some information about who he is in the virtual. So guys, I, I keep telling you, it, even if you download the free version, it is worth it. Um, I have the paid version and I use it in my business. I use it when I'm in Second Life. It's just been a great tool. And if you're in education, it is free. Free, you get the pro version for free. So if you have any other questions, please give me a shout. Uh, you can reach me on Facebook. Um, Instagram. I have a TikTok now. And of course, on YouTube, you can leave me a comment and I'll see it. 
All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.